Welcome back to Jebri's Gibberish and today we're doing another video in the UHF CB series and you will have the chance to create another entry into the competition to win our Uniden UH5060 radio. I'll tell you a bit more about that later on. So we only have 77 channels on an 80 channel UHF CB and that seems a little bit strange. We'll get to that in a minute though, because first of all, let's just talk about 80 channel CBs and how they changed from 40 channels to 80 channels in 2011. What a lot of people don't realize is that they didn't actually allocate any more frequencies to the UHF CB band in Australia. And that's because radio frequencies are very, very valuable and UHF CV owners don't really pay anything to use those frequencies, there was no way that the government was just going to give UHF CB owners a whole bunch more of the UHF band. So what they did was they actually halved the amount of bandwidth that every channel uses on a UHF CB. So instead of using what was called a wide band transmission mode at 25 kilohertz, they actually halved it to 12.5 kilohertz and then they were able to double the amount of channels that were available. And so with UHF CBs, you don't actually go up in frequencies like you would imagine. You don't start with the lowest frequency at channel one and then end with the highest frequency at channel 80 and just step up all the way through. It actually goes channel one, channel 41, channel two, channel 42, channel three, channel 43, and so on and so forth. Because they split them in the middle and then just added the extra frequencies in along the way. This has caused a slight reduction in the audio quality of UHF CBs, but it's probably not really noticeable on most equipment because the amount of bandwidth that the little speakers that are built into these UHF CBs can produce, you basically wouldn't notice. And the other thing is the technology in the CB radios has improved. And so the quality of the transmission is probably better on a modern 80 channel CB than it was even on a older wideband 40 channel CB. So what is it about only having 77 channels instead of 80 channels? Well, if you have a look at a band plan for UHF CB, you'll notice that channels 61, 62 and 63 are actually not allocated yet. And that's because we don't know what's coming around in the future. And we'll talk a little bit about this in a minute. If you have a UHF CB that has the appropriate class license for Australia, i.e. it's a you know name brand that you bought in Australia, you will find that you can select 61, 62 and 63 on most radios. But if you try and transmit, it's not going to work. And that's because it has not been allocated in the band plan. Now, the band plan is what we're supposed to use each channel for on a UHF CB. And there are a few channels that you definitely should not be using. All of those repeater channels that I spoke about earlier, but also channel 22 and channel 23. Channels 22 and 23 were actually some of the only channels that didn't get reduced to the 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth. And that's because those channels are telemetry channels. They are supposed to be used for all sorts of different data telemetry. You know, people like farmers and station owners might be using those channels for reporting the you know, condition of their wells or troughs. It's really a good idea to not be transmitting on those channels because they are there for a purpose and there are people who use them and you could be interrupting their businesses or their livelihood by talking to your mates on those channels. So keep away from channel 22 and 23. But there are allocations for other channels too, like channel 10 is generally used for national parks and four wheel driving. So if you do own a four wheel drive, it's actually a really good channel to leave it on if you're driving through national parks or if you're driving in sand dunes and those sorts of places, you might hear other people who are coming in the other direction, especially when you're on tight forestry tracks, like in the Lane Pool Reserve in Southwest of Western Australia. Channel 11 is the call channel. And even though a lot of people don't sit there on UHF CVs trying just to call someone to chat to with a CQ CQ like you used to in the olden days on the 27 megahertz radios, it is still technically the call channel. And you really shouldn't be using that as your primary conversation channel when you're in a convoy or just hanging around at camp. Channel 18 and 40, you probably see stickers on the back of caravans all of the time with these two channels. And there's good reason for that. Channel 18 is the caravan and campers channel and channel 40 is the road channel or often referred to as the truckies channel. Channel 40, if you're on the highway, is an excellent channel to keep on your radio or set as your priority watch channel. 
because that's where all of the important information about speed cameras or roadworks, wide loads, all that sort of stuff all comes up on channel 40. The other thing is if you've got something wrong with your vehicle or your load and you've got your radio on channel 40, someone behind you might radio up to you and say, hey, look, your tire's really soft. It's going to blow out if you don't stop and fix it or something's come loose on your caravan, whatever it happens to be. So it's a really good idea to keep that one on your priority watch or just leave it on there all of the time. Channel 18, same goes with that one, but you're probably better off to leave it on 40 than you are on 18. Now, as I said in my other video, channel five and channel 35 are the emergency channels. Channel five is an emergency channel on simplex, but also on duplex, which means that channel 35 is also allocated as an emergency channel, and you definitely do not want to be using that unless it's an emergency. If you interrupt somebody who's trying to talk in an emergency situation, you can get massive fines, even potentially jail time. So just steer away from channel five and channel 35 at all costs. As for the rest of the channels, they're what we call simplex channels, and those are the ones that you can go ahead and use however you like. You can talk to your mates on them, you can chat about pretty much anything that you want to chat about. It's not really an issue. That, of course, does take out a heap of channels, so it can sometimes be hard to find a channel that's not got other people talking on it. And that's why in an upcoming video, I'm going to tell you about CTCSS and DCS and how you can use those so that you can filter out some of the other conversations that might be happening off in the distance and around you. They're also really handy if your kids are using radios, so you can filter anyone that might be using inappropriate language or just trying to make contact with your kids without you knowing about it. So in summary, we either need to use them for their intended application or stay clear of them altogether. Channels one through eight, channels 10 and 11, 18 and 40, 22 and 23, 31 to 38, 40, and 41 to 48, and 71 to 78. All of those channels have a purpose, and unless you're using them for that particular purpose, you really need to just go and find yourself somewhere else on the band to hang out with, with your friends. Do us a favor in the comments below. Tell us what it is about people on UHF-CB that drive you completely bonkers. What's the most annoying thing that people do on the UHF radio when you're trying to talk to your mates? Okay, so let's tell you what the entry code is for the competition today where you can win the Uniden UH5060 radio that we're giving away. We're also giving away a 4.5 dB spring base grand independent antenna with it. All you need to do to enter is go to the link below to my website and fill in the form. You need to use the entry code from this video of channel. Now there'll be an entry code in all of the videos in this series. And so if you haven't seen the other videos, go back and have a look, you'll get more chances to win. And you can also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the future videos coming out. If you follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page, you'll find some bonus entries coming up on those social media pages as well. And our patrons will get bonus codes put in the description of the early access videos that we post up there. So consider joining us on our Patreon page as well. There's a link to that up there. Please, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.